there was one thing I would change if I were to go back to 2022 when I first started copywriting. And this has nothing to do with joining mentorships. This has nothing to do with buying courses. This has nothing to do with my time. None of that. None of that. It's actually something very simple, something that nobody does, and it's something that I'm going to get into right now. So the thing I would do is I would stop focusing so much on just business and just copywriting and just forgetting about everything else in my life, and I would actually do more purpose-driven activities instead of just working like a maniac. And I'm going to share with you why right now. And it's not just about you having fun. It's about you not quitting copywriting. This is how important this is. So this is something I, I constantly talk about with my students. I always tell them this. It's about long-term versus short-term thinking. In the short term, you might be thinking that you can sustain this type of work. You can sustain this type of work forever just because you're new to copywriting, just because you're ignorant, and just because you haven't been consistent enough for long enough. So you can actually experience the burnout effects. Now, okay, you, you aren't going to burn out with two hours a day of outraging, but you get the point. So you need to have a lifestyle that's actually sustainable. You need to be doing things every single day that you actually enjoy and you actually find fun because you need to have something that's sustainable. You, you don't have to, you shouldn't have a lifestyle that's only about business and that you can't wait to escape from. You, you, you can't be like, Oh, once I land my first client, then I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do that. No, bro. You should be doing this now. You should be including these activities now. You shouldn't be waiting to land a client. This is why corporates get discouraged. This is why corporates quit. This is why corporates throw in the towel. Because they've been so, for so long, they've been away from, they're not spending time with their friends. They're not sp spending time with their family. They're not doing their hobbies. They're not going out. They're not networking, they're just in their basement, they're just outreaching. That's why they get discouraged. Because they, they leave all their life behind, they stop doing everything they enjoy, just so they can push business forward, and so everyone, everything else suffers. Now, I'm not saying you should be going out every single day, I'm not saying you should be going out for five hours a day, I'm not saying any of that. I don't know your time frame, I can't give you a specific answer, I'm just giving you the formula, I'm just giving you the principles and you go ahead and apply them. So yeah, if I were to go back and change one thing, it would be this. I wouldn't only focus on business because that's the fastest way for you to get discouraged. That's the fastest way for you to start complaining for not having clients, and I wouldn't want that for you. I, wouldn't, I didn't want that for myself, and I don't want that for you either. So start implementing stuff in your day-to-day -day life that you actually enjoy, which are not business-related. Of course, most of your time is gonna go to business, but again, sustainable. Long-term versus short-term thinking. He who can, like operating is like a last one standing battle. He who can last longer wins. It's like survival games, whatever. He who can last longer wins, bro. He who can, he who can keep outreaching and not quit and remain in cooperating this is the person who's going to have the clients and he's going to reach 10k, 20k, 50k, 100k a month. This is what's going to happen. Will you be that person? Truthfully answer. Will you be that person or will you just focus on copy and then end up quitting? Because landing clients isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time, but it will happen as long as you don't quit. So yeah, this is what I want to share with you. Hope you got some value. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next time. Peace. Love you.